Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning, and I trust that you are all really well. Uh, I want to read with you today a wonderful portion of Scripture, which is Matthew 11 um, from verse 28. But I want to read it with you in the message where Eugene Peterson puts this portion of Scripture so well. Um, and uh, so if you, if you don't have a message with you, it's fine. Just, just listen with me. Um, where Jesus said to, to the, the disciples, Are you tired? worn out <laughs> what a question i think many of us can at this point in time like yeah you know that sounds about like a good description of what we're experiencing are you tired worn out burnt out on religion come to me get away with me and you'll recover your life i'll show you how to take a real rest walk with me and work with me watch how i do it learn the unforced r- rhythms of grace I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll live to learn to live freely and lightly. Doesn't that sound so inviting, so fantastic to be able to learn to live freely and lightly and to and to say, you know, that we we can take a real rest. We we live in a time where I don't think we know so much about the unforced rhythms of grace. This fantastic sentiment that he puts here unforced rhythms of grace what is what is that so much of our lives is about forced Uh, jesus says you are you tired of religion our religion is works is doing is is earning is is being pushed and pulled all day long every day to earn our place to make our way in this world and there's so much that is just on us the whole time but yet jesus comes and says come to me Learn from me. Live with me. See how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. And that's the heart of God for us. And that's more than just his desire for us. That's really available to us. That's really possible for us. Is to come into a place where we, where we work from rest. Where we really rest in him. Because we know he loves us. We're accepted in him. I define grace as knowing that um, being precedes doing and i define the law and works as doing that precedes being i don't have to do good things to inherit my place and be a child of god i am a child of god by the blood and the grace that was extended to me through jesus and therefore i can do it's a very different place And the Lord is saying to us, come, learn from me the unforced rhythms of grace. I was watching a documentary the other day of people that worked with horses and a man that came from a city environment and had to learn to begin to work with horses. And he said, at first he he did everything quickly. But then suddenly he had to learn that the horses don't do well if you are rushing around them. They, They become nervous. They don't like sudden movements and they pick up the stress and the strain of the people that work with them so he had to learn to slow his rhythms down to do everything just that bit slower and then they became responsive to him and i think there's something about that in life and the the kingdom of god there's a rhythm to the kingdom and it's not this rush pressed king rhythm that we so used to in our society the kingdom people work hard There's an amazing work ethic in the kingdom that you see in the life of Jesus and others that represent the kingdom. It's not a place of laziness. It's not a place of, ah, tomorrow's another day, manana. It's not a place of of fear of working. But it is a place where there's an unforced rhythm of grace. And I I just want to just encourage you to come to the Lord at times with that unforced rhythms of grace. Not because something needs to get done, because you need an answer, because you, but just to come and to learn and to step into that rhythm with him. To just feel like Jesus invited us. Come, learn from me. Live with me. And um, if you're tired and weary, just stressed out, come to the Lord. Slow down. It's a scary thing because sometimes we feel like everything's going to fall apart because we're slowing down. But it is there where we step into the grace of God. 
and where He takes care of the things in our lives that, that may cause us unnecessary stress in terms of our inner motivations and security and heart and, and those things can get settled so that we can attend to the problems for what they are and not make more of it than what they are. So I want to pray for you today. I want to pray that you would experience just, just that, the unforced rhythms of grace, living with Jesus day to day. Let's pray. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name that we could be in a space like this today, that with so much busyness, so much happening, so many things pulling at us, pushing us, forcing us, we thank you, Lord, that when we come to you, we come to an unforced rhythm of grace. And I want to pray that for every person that's with me in this devotional. I pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, for the unforced rhythms of grace in our lives. I pray that every one of them would find those places, moments, and times where they will just meet with you, learn from you, and receive from you the ability to rest and live from the unforced rhythms of grace. And I thank you for that. Just your blessing upon us, your grace and your goodness. We receive that today. In Jesus' name. Amen. May you have a wonderful day and a fantastic week.